Hello there, Desire the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of Trailer Park Boys, Season 2, Episode 4. Um, if you'd like to see the full unedited reaction, the link will be down below for the Patreon. Um, and also links for my Twitter and other social media is down there. And I will be putting my Twitch link down there, even though I said I have in the past, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. I'll be doing some live streaming um, over some certain weekends. Um, playing some stupid games with friends if you'd like to come and watch. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into this now and have some fun. Here's my shed right here. I've been living in these most of my life. A lot cheaper than the fucking trailer. Come on in. Got everything I need here. <laughs> Keep all my stuff up there. Do all my cooking. Everything I need. This here's my pride and joy. That's a 1961 Electro Bubble. So Bubbles lives in a shed. Do you know what? That's actually pretty cool. Like, I watch those, um, like, off-the-grid living kind of videos. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Um, and like they build these little sheds in the woods and it's just so cool. Uh, so I would love to have something like that. <laughs> Usually they're swatting at them and freaks them out, but something's wrong with Daisy. Daisy! Come here, Daisy. What's wrong? Boys! <laughs> watch the carts! <laughs> Come on, watch the carts. It's how he makes a living, dudes. Bubbles, listen. I've got prison guards waiting to buy all of our weed off us. We're gonna double, maybe even triple our money. This is the big time, man. Just find me another placat, please, to protect the plants. Stay right here and don't say a word, guys. What are you doing, Rick? Fuck us! Every every episode, that call, a gun is fired, and he does a knock knock joke, and I'm all about it. I love the fact that they're just doing the same thing over and over again in every episode, and it's just great. There's always a gunfight, and I hope you get shot again this episode. Holy fuck, man! We got a major situation here. Is it, what the squirrels again? No, it's not squirrels, man. This is much bigger than fucking squirrels. Look at these little black specks. What are they? That fucking thing. What the hell is that? Fuck, you know what's going on here? What? Dope-eating insects, man. They're gonna fucking wipe out the whole crop, just like <laughs> happened to me in grade 7, remember that? So how do they do that? Because, I mean, that looks like a cannabis plant. And I'm assuming it's illegal for them to have that. <laughs> Julian looks proper high. <laughs> it's fucking dope, dude. Yeah. No, but seriously, is that like rubber or plastic? I mean, I'm assuming you can like buy these fake plants like you can with other fake plants. I, I don't know. Let, let me know in the comments. There will be no jeopardization of the people in this park. Do you understand that? No. What do you think your probation officer would do if I called him and told him you were firing off guns and growing dope in the park? probably say knock knock you'd say who's there and you'd say a fucking idiot and tell you to fuck off that's what i'd do <laughs> Jim. so now he's back with um his boyfriend the the power's gone to his head again straight away like if it wasn't for them jim you wouldn't even have your job or your boyfriend no more litter in sunnyvale sam yeah, don't you care about this park jerks litter sam jerks that's not littering that's organic material which makes it composting now, I'm going to be taste testing a few hot dogs over the next couple of days, and you girls are just going to have to learn to live with it. I see. He's gone mad with power, has Jim already. I mean, yes, fair enough, you shouldn't be littering and stuff and shooting guns, and everything he's asking is actually quite decent things to be asking, like don't fire a weapon, don't litter. But also, at the same time, it's just the way he does it, and the fact that he is power hungry. That I could talk to people better, maybe then I'll understand what people are saying all the time. Right now, I don't. But the other thing is, it's a catch-23 situation, because I got something fucking around my dope plants right now. And not only that, but Julian's saying, you should be growing dope. Don't worry about stupid grade 10. Well, it's easy for him to say he's already got his grade 10. We've got less than a month here. you got to get your priorities straight. We're going to sell the dope first, then you're going to take your grade 10, okay? 
I mean, he's just trying to better himself, and we all should be trying to do that in life. So let him do his grade 10. Like, I understand you've got a business to run, a very illegal one. <laughs> but let the guy take his grade 10 so he can understand what people are saying. Corey. Oh, shit. Here, put that on the bed. Let's go, Smokes. <laughs> Don't fuck that up either. What are you doing? I love the fact that he just takes cigarettes from everyone he meets. Let's go about litter. He doesn't realize what he's up against. He's about to enter the shit tornado to Oz. <laughs> what makes Sam Dorothy? Right, Mr. Leahy? Right, Randy. Come on, Jim, let's lay down the law. I mean, on this guy you can't because nobody likes him, but, you know, just leave <laughs> Julian alone. What the fuck happened? Julian, what the fuck did you guys do to my shed? No! I don't know what that was, but we could probably rebuild. It's no big deal. No big deal? Take a look around, Ricky. I fucking lost everything. Oh, poor Bubbles, man. That's horrible. His whole life was in that shed. This episode's breaking my heart. <laughs> stupid, stupid fucking dope plants. Not dope plants. It was just some vegetables we were growing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I fucking believe that, Ricky. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, no. Look at that. That's my fucking bubble maker. Not his bubble ma I'm actually genuinely heartbroken for the guy. I mean, he didn't have much to begin with. And what Lily had has been destroyed. That's, that's messed up, man. You don't mess with bubbles, bubbles. <laughs> that's what's fucking important to you, it's obviously. Sorry. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. Let's find somewhere to live. Oh my god, man. I'm <clears throat> not getting emotional. <laughs> That's horrible though, man. That's really horrible. It's messed up is what it is. I'm disappointed in you, boys. You guys want to see some shit? Come watch this. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, asshole. Clean up this fucking garbage. <laughs> nice work, Bubbles. Oh, that was good. I'm gonna call animal control and have them all put the fucking sleep. Oh, yeah? You think you can do it if I'm fucking knocked out, huh? 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 <laughs> oh, good lord, Bubbles. Oh, that was brilliant. Thanks, Julian, but I do stuff on my own, you know that. Look, Bubbles, what happened with the shed? I admit that was my fault, but it's mostly Corn Char's fault, but I did, you know, kind of get them in there, and I'm fucking sorry, man. Well, kind of, Rick. I mean, you never said anything about hucking power up in there. Neither I mean, it was all of your fault, to be honest, mate. Let's be honest, it was. Because they said, oh, no, you're doing it wrong, and he said, no. I'm, I'm not, and you burnt it down. Bubbles, you know some pile about kitties, you know what I'm saying? What's up, T? What's going on? Not mm -hmm. much, J-Rock. You can stay here as long as you want with your candy, Bubbles. Stay in this van. J-Rock got you back hard, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate that, J-Rock, but I pay my own way, you know that. 12 bucks a month, what do you think? Plus heat and lights. <laughs> Drive a hard bazaar game, my fuck, you know what I'm saying? I'm out. Peace, T. Thanks, J-Rock. You drive a hard bazaar game. Oh, 12 bucks a month. Jesus Christ. That is expensive. I can't believe it. Hey, he's prepared to pay something and I've got to respect him for it. He's just lost everything. So he's probably only got about that. Good for him. It's nice. I got you a little something. I, I hope it cheers you up. Thanks, Trina. It's a bubble maker. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Oh, see, that's what I love about this show. Yes, obviously, it's about thugs, <laughs> like, making drugs and shooting guns and stuff. But at the, at the, at the real honest truth, at the heart of it, it's just about a bunch of people 
who care about each other a lot. I mean, Trina bought him some bubbles, and it's stupid because it's it's literally well where I am, you can get them for sixty nine pence. But to uh, bubbles, that is huge because he loves bubbles. <laughs> It's just, it's just lovely. It's really, really nice. And it's part of the reason why I'm still watching this show. Because it's just got this heart behind all of that bravado. And these tough guys shooting guns and growing drugs. There's, there's a heart and I really love that. Um, so yeah, as ever, thank you for your support. Uh, this was a good episode. I really enjoyed it. I hate the fact that Bubbles lost his shed. And this was a very bubble centric episode, which I hope there's more of in the future. Um, and it, it was it was a really good one. Thank you as ever for watching. I'll see you all again very soon for more Trailer Park Boys reaction videos.